Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. We make presentations every day and in the presentations we make the content slide and generally this is how we made the content slide. When I click it will show you the point 1, the point 2, point 3 and the point 4. So generally we make a bullet points and that's it. That's the our content slide. So instead of creating this kind of very simple and ineffective slide so i thought of creating something like this this is the content slide so it will show you the first headline or the title the second one third fourth fifth and sixth so you can see the difference between the slide and one and the slide two and apart from that one i have made one more which is something like this all right so let's see how to create this content slide in powerpoint add a new slide right mouse click go to format background and change the background to gradient fill you can use any two light gray colors here or if you want you can change to some different direction also now go to insert shapes select rectangle top corner sounded draw the rectangle something like this make it no outline and go to rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees and using this small pointer drag this inside so it becomes more curved increase the size a little bit and then go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle which is this one draw the corner rounded rectangle and make it fully curved reduce the size shape outline make it no outline and give some different color and place it something here one control D to duplicate make other something like this some smaller one and one more something like this you can use any shape you want and then I'm just going to copy ctrl D once more and put it aside then select all these objects go to format merge shapes say fragment and then delete this one just move this out and select all this and delete it and then you have got this smaller one reduce it make it more smaller and add it here you can add three or four some more some are big some are small And one more I'm just going to add something like this select all these objects and change the color to white go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and make it no outline and bring it here you can make it somewhat big and place exactly at the corner and you can use some gradient fill I'm going to use some dark colors or uh, two different colors maybe I'm going to use say a pink and this color I'm going to use some purple use some different combinations like this
and go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle make it no outline and give this also a gradient fill I'm going to use this as a black color and this will be a white color and transparency make it full 100% this one you can reduce it and increase change the angle something like this and the transparency also you can reduce and go to the effects under soft edges increase the soft edges and rotate sorry rotate a little bit tilt it put it here and then say send to back so you can see here it gives you the shadow effect and this also you can give shadow effect to this also go to the effects and shadow select uh, this one inner center and transparency you can increase the transparency level and blur also you can give somewhat blur effect and you can add the text later on so I'm going to select all these options press ctrl G to group it zoom out and then reduce the size how much size you want for example I need this much size now I'm going to add text now go to insert text type 01 or abc whatever you want center align increase the size and bring at the center i'll change the font to oswald and the font color to white and then you can add your titles here title you can give a gray color and then you can add the detailed text here reduce the size type your text here now once this is done again select all and group it control G to group it now zoom out and press control D to duplicate add one here control d again then select all these three press control d and bring the other side change the numbers here this is two three four five and six and likewise you can change the color select this and give some two different color combination maybe I'll give some a blue and here maybe a, a light blue color something like this likewise you change all these colors and once you have changed all these colors it's time to do the animation so for the animation go to the animations pane enable the animation pane and then select the first object and say fly in fly in i will say from right and double click the animation and if you want you can make it instead of very fast you can make it fast and effect increase the smooth start and increase the bounce bounce end okay 
and then using the animation painter I'm going to copy the animation effect to the remaining objects double click click this then this the fourth the fifth and the last sixth so you got all these six animations now let's see how it looks in the slideshow so this is how the slide looks when I click the title 1 then the title 2 3 4 5 and 6 what all you need to do is you need to change the the title 2 3 4 5 and if you want to add some background also you can add some background of it That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.